Hello everybody and welcome to the Fall 2020 Watch Party for the Hartwick Wind Ensemble. I'm thrilled to welcome you here tonight um, because despite so many challenges we were able to make music together this semester. This was not universal across the country of course. In order to do so we had to follow um, all of Hartwick's social compact and so many other safety measures. So before we begin, I'd like to walk you through what that looked like. Um, Hartwick requires masks at all times. And in fact, that's the recommendation around the country if you're gonna be with anyone in close proximity for any length of time. So um, we came up with ways to have our instrumentalists masked while playing their instruments. So here, for instance, is my specialized trumpet mask with a hole just big enough for my mouthpiece still blocks my nose as you can see. Uh, in addition, we had bell covers for every instrument. So again, here's the bell cover for my trumpet. We had these custom made for every member of the Hartwick Wind Ensemble. Uh, in addition, uh, we weren't just spread 12 feet, we were spread, I'm sorry, we, were, we weren't just spread six feet, we were spread 12 feet, it gave it away there, um, all, at all times when we were playing. So 12 feet between every in instrumentalist. Um, and on top of that, uh, per the Colorado Aerosol Study Guidelines, we were not um, supposed to be in an indoor space for any longer than 30 minutes. So anytime we started playing, a 30 minute timer started. And as soon as the timer ended, we went to a different space. So we were using two spaces, the Anderson uh, Circle, the Music Circle, and the Anderson Theater. We would uh, spend our 90 minutes for rehearsal going from uh, circle to theater and then go back to the circle at the end after the air changed over, um, which presented some challenges. But again, we were able to persevere and make some music. So uh, tonight's watch party, concert, whatever you want to call it, consists of three groups. They're... Uh, be because of the uh, distancing requirements, we were not able to fit every Hartwick Wind Ensemble member into one group, so we split in two, essentially a Tuesday band and a Thursday band. Uh, and in addition, we hosted a virtual honor band at the end of October. You'll hear from those folks as well. That represents high school students from all over New York State and a couple of Rhode Islanders. That was fun. Um, so we'll begin tonight with the Thursday band. They're gonna present four tunes for you. Now, in order to uh, make our music work, we had to use flexible instrumentation music, and flexible instrumentation means essentially anyone can play any part, to some extent uh, or, or another. So we have four very different tunes for you. The first is called Pursuit by Scott McKenzie. And this one, everyone has literally the same part. Like, it's exactly the same. But they start at different times, and uh, if you start later, then it tells you as you go through, okay, leave out these couple of measures. So as it, as it progresses, the parts get closer and closer together, like a pursuit. It's a really fun uh, piece. Um, we also will have In Yonder Valley from Simple Gifts by Frank Kelly. Frank Kelly took um, a, an existing contraband piece of his and rewrote it so that anyone could play any part. So every, every member got a packet of all four parts for this, and we experimented with uh, different arrangements of it before arriving at this one, which you'll hear. Uh, next was uh, Sounds from the Grey Goo SARS-CoV-2 by Jennifer Jolly. Um, what Jennifer Jolly did was take a piece that was originally for clarinet and laptop, um, essentially a looping piece, and made it into a segmented um, piece for band where really anyone can play anything anytime. And that means that every single performance is different. We recorded this three times and everyone was substantially different. So I just picked my favorite in uh, posting this for you. I'm very excited. Our final piece is perhaps the most conventional uh, of the, the bunch. It is Dusk by Stephen Bryant. Uh, which again is a full band piece. Uh, Stephen Bryant adapted it for a five-part flexible ensemble. So with our uh, nine players that night, we uh, distributed all five of the parts. 
uh, which again could have been played by not any combination, but, uh, but a number of different combinations of instrumentalists. I really hope you enjoy this Thursday band set from the Hartwick Wind Ensemble.
Let's give it up one more time for that Thursday band. Uh, we're going to move on to the Tuesday band now. Um, they put together a program of five tunes, again recorded over the course of the semester. I should emphasize that we never knew uh, who was going to be there entirely and whether or not we were going to be under a sudden quarantine. In fact, we were put under a sudden quarantine for two weeks right before the very first rehearsal. So all kinds of surprises were thrown at us, but again, we, we managed and we put together quite a bit of music for you. Um, so this Tuesday band set includes five tunes. The first is We'll Find Our Way by Tyler Jones, uh, which the composer dedicated to all of the music teachers who are making it work in the COVID era here. This, this tune is a six part flexible instrumentation um, where um, again, like Dusk in the, uh, in the Thursday band, it, it isn't quite anyone can play anything, but uh, there are lots of different combinations. The next tune is Heaven's Morning Breaks by Brooke Pearson. And you may recognize the melody Abide With Me um, uh, featured prominently in the second half here. This one um, is a full, full flex so anyone can play any part. Next is The Dance by Frank to Kelly. This is also from the Simple Gifts collection, that concert band piece that uh, to Kelly took and made into um, a, uh, a full flex piece. And we tried this several different ways. You're, you're, here, you're gonna hear just one of them. Uh, next is Look Far by James David, uh, which is a semi-flexible piece um, based on the works of Ursula K. Le Guin, particularly the Earthsea series, one of which features a boat called Look Far, which travels uh, the seas on a distant planet. I think you'll hear some spaciness, some wonder in this tune. And we'll end this set with Arithmetric Number no. 1 by Brian Balmages, which is another sort of free-form piece. It has cells uh, of of uh, notation one after another and anyone can enter at any time and move on at any time. Very much inspired by the piece In C by Terry Riley, which is one of the um, hallmarks of the minimalist movement. Enjoy this set by the Tuesday Band.
Yeah, let's hear it one more time for that Tuesday band. And now for the big finish, the honor band. Now, honor band involved, as I said before, high school students from all over New York State and some Rhode Islanders. And we had a record turnout for it this year. Over 60 students participated from 30 schools. Uh, really a phenomenal uh, turnout. Um, in addition, we had our Hartwick students contribute to this, as well as a number of the Hartwick faculty. So I want to give a special shout out to the faculty who helped so much with this in putting together the videos that allowed our honor band students to, uh, to have a full experience with this. And I also want to do a, a little plug for our faculty CD, which is just out. It's called Stravinsky Alone No More by the Hartwick faculty uh, wind octet. And uh, it's available from the record label, Mark Custom. That's markcustom.com. That's Mark with a K, custom.com. Uh, you can uh, search for Hartwick and you'll find this CD, um, which is available uh, uh, on CD right now, uh, digitally and, uh, from that website, and it'll be digitally available all over the world in January. So look for that. We're very excited to have this coming out, especially in a pandemic. Uh, we recorded it last September, like September 2019, and finally got the editing done this September. Um, so on to the honor band. You're going to hear two tunes. The first is Stillwater by Kalijah Dutton. Uh, now, Kalijah is a young composer from Brooklyn. He traveled to Minnesota, in fact, to the town of Stillwater in Minnesota, and um, was struck by the frozen lakes there in the winter and imagined what it must be like under the water in those frozen lakes, which also serves as a metaphor for calm and stillness under the surface, especially in this time of uh, great uncertainty and anxiety. Uh, and this will feature most prominently the honor band students, of course. Um, the second tune and the finale of the whole night is Foundry by John Mackey. And it's called Foundry because it's supposed to be about a factory and it's supposed to also use found percussion, like percussion you can find anywhere. If you look closely, for instance, you'll see uh, uh, one video being played on like toy buckets, uh, for instance. Um, this one features not only the honor band students, but also the Hartwick students who contributed and the Hartwick faculty that contributed. And I must give a special shout out to our music department intern, Adam Fredette, who did so much to put uh, not only these virtual videos together, but, it, but this whole presentation as, as well. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight at this watch party. Um, enjoy the rest of it. Have a wonderful and safe holiday. And I hope to see you in person once we're through all of this. Thank you so much.